Dr. Kemi Lawrence, it is Friday, the 15th of November, 2024. Let's talk about May Yul Idochi. May, this is a special message from me to you. You're like a daughter to me. I want to talk to you about what's going on with your marriage and your fans and everything that's happened. First of all, let me express my condolence to you on the passing of your son. I mean, that really hurts. I'm a mother of three sons, and God knows no one wants to bury a child. That really hurt me. May, it's a lot in a year. And I know you're trying to struggle to move on. I've had trauma all my life. And resilience is not for everybody. Not everybody can have resilience. I've seen people who literally collapsed and died when they heard that their children died. I've seen that. But you've held that resilience so much and you've done it good. You are a beautiful soul in and out. I don't lie about anything. And that's why I'm not liked by people. A lot of people don't like me because I tell the truth all the time. I tell the truth in my work. I tell the truth in life. I tell the truth, period. And you are a beautiful one inside and outside I already investigated you and I found a lot of beautiful things about you May May I'm a single mother by choice let me tell you that stuff I did a video when I was 27 and in that video I said I will never get married for the rest of my life because of what my ex fiance did to me the abuse was too much physical abuse until the police officer told me to get a gun and kill him if he touches me again. When he gets to that stage, a woman must leave. If you don't leave, they will kill you. So when I look back at that video I made, in those days there was no social media. I have the video, I just am not posting it. Some things are private, not everything is posted. But when I look at that video and I show my three sons, I say, look at this video. I said, I'll never get married for the rest of my life. I was 27 in that video in 1991. Today, I'm 60. It's not easy, my dear. You, is, you your ex-husband, loves you, and you know you love him. You still bear his name. The whole situation with Judy is not the end of the world. I mean, you brought Judy in. At your lowest, May. We know. We are watching it. But it doesn't mean it's the end of the world, sweetie. And I know you guys are trying to get back together somehow. But we have fans who are toxic. And they're making it worse. If you could just do a statement for your fans to be positive. Because when fans are toxic... They add frying pan to the fire. Judy Austin's fans are also toxic. You guys are ladies and your lady fans are toxic. You guys are grown though. You ain't no Tatcha or Erica or all those whiskey and 30 BG fan bases. If you're going to have a fan base, it's not you that make up that fan base. People make it up for you. Talk to them. Tell your fans to be positive and no trolling, no fighting, nothing. Somebody wrote on my page yesterday that all those fan base people in May's fan base are stupid, useless single mothers. Now that I found offensive because I've been a single mother for life. And for you to be saying that, I was really pissed off the person. I actually blocked the person. Let me say something to you, my dear May. I love posting your pictures. I love seeing what you're doing. And you're doing it all positively. You carry it all well. You're looking healthy. Mental health, everything is looking good. I mean, some mothers can't even come out again after they lose their sons. I mean, everybody takes this thing differently. Look at me, 60 years old. But you know, be wudu. 
I was earlier in my years, I was like, oh, let me pick up that sex toy, sex toy. Sex toy, that thing good, though, but it ain't the real thing. I know you're a single mom. Sometimes, who go knock your aku? You know what I'm saying? Some of us need somebody to knock our aku sometimes. Me personally, no. I don't have sex. I'm in love with my sex toy. But you know what I'm talking about, May? We may be single mothers outside the door, at the window, but in our beds, ain't nobody there. So there's some nights when you really want you to be right next to you. My dear, that ain't impossible. There are some nights when you just feel you want to be with somebody cozy and you think about your husband. So I, I'm just saying that I don't want fans to mess up your personal life and your relationship and you the fans. Some of us are fans of some celebrities and you know some fan bases are so toxic. When a star has millions of fans and then the fan base is in the millions, then we got a problem. Everybody should be able to be civilized. May, look at me on my bed now. I look left, ain't nobody. I look right, ain't nobody. Phil ain't here. Phil, shout out to you. <laughs> Phil is my online boyfriend. <laughs> Phil smart. You know him now. G-E-J's man. <laughs> Phil, I called your name in this video. Let me say something. If you're a single mother, you know how the bed looks. That's why I'm doing this on the bed. Like I said, you look left, there's no man. You look right, there's no man. You look down there, maybe sex toy is popping at you. Are you not using me tonight? I was the one that introduced sex toys tonight, doubt. Like in 2012, then nobody wanted to talk about it. Just Google my name, came your little lawyer, sex toy. You'll see everything now. We're calling me names. Today, everybody's going to the store to rush to buy them. But going back to you, May, I want you to be happy, May. I'm a dedicated fan. I really like you. I don't want you to have some civil conversations with you and Judy. This thing can be amicable. Honestly, I don't like polygamy. Personally, myself, I don't. That's one of the reasons I even stay single. But if everybody's civilized with everything, it can happen. Don't spoil your chances of being the person you are. Just be yourself. May, be yourself. You are a beautiful soul inside and out. Control that fan base. Judy's fan base and May's fan base, you guys are toxic. You're the ones adding frying pan to fire. I don't want to hear any nonsense in the comments, so I'm serious. But you ain't such an Erica fan base. You know, these guys are younger. We're talking about Judy and May. They're much older. I'm looking forward to The Waiter, that movie you're in with AY. And I'm glad that you and the Macron, your relationship has been tipped up and tight forever. Especially Larry, who's your friend. Isn't Larry your um your good friend? You know, Larry, um, AY's brother that plans the show. I heard the show was almost canceled, Seth, in 2023 when your son passed. Oh, that hurt me so bad. May, I hope you're going to some counseling. Bereavement counseling. Because everything's so fast. Life is short. Let's make it sweet for each other. Let's make it positive. May fans promise me that you're, you're not going to be going there trolling Judy's side and trolling Uche Ogbodo and all that. Hey, you're, the person you're fanning is classy. You don't need to mess her up. This is what the mistake the obedience did with Peter Obi. They were fighting all over the internet. And Tinubu ended up winning. Portray your candidate in a good light. Don't be vicious and everything to everybody. God bless Nigeria. I love everybody. 
May. Kisses.